Today we're going to create a growing flower animation. Once you have Week Editor open and have a new project ready, we'll start by creating the stem of the flower. We'll draw a rectangle about this size. So we're going to make it grow. So first let's create just a tiny piece and then click on the selection tool and then select and let's change the color to let's say green and I'm going to remove the stroke so I'll set that to zero and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one by pressing make sure you select it by pressing C and then I'll go into frame 2 and then paste it and you can hit onions if you like just to make sure that it is actually right on top of the other one and then once you're on frame 2 you can just go ahead and make it a little bit taller by dragging one of the handles up and then we can just copy that one go to frame 3 paste it again and then again make it a little bit taller copy that press and C go to frame 4 click on P to paste and then make it taller and let's do it one more time copy first go to frame 5 paste and then make it taller and now let's copy one more time and then on frame 6 we'll paste maybe one more time make it a little bit taller and now um, let's copy one more time frame 7 paste but this time instead of making it taller now we're going to start building the the flower so let's use the ellipse to create the center of the flower so ellipse tool and then hold shift as you start dragging just so you can create a perfect circle and don't make it too big and then select the selection tool the cursor and then place it on top right on the center and then let's change the color to let's say yellow and I'll click outside and that's how it looks so far if you need to uh, move it around a little bit use the keyboard arrows to to move it around slightly all right now I'm going to select both objects and then I'm going to copy go into the next frame I'm going to paste and I'll click on the, on the circle and then I'm going to hold shift and grab one of the corner handles and then just try dragging it out just to make it bigger now I'm going to select both of them again copy go to the next frame and then paste now I'm going to start creating the petals uh, for the flower so I'll, again I'll select the ellipse tool and then create like an oval shape something like this something like that again click on the selection of cursor to select the new object and then I'm going to um, rotate it so all you do to rotate is just place your cursor uh, kind of outside the handles and then you should see the double headed arrow uh, curve and that's when you're ready to rotate and then just position it uh, on top of the circle and we want to change that color so pick a color for your uh, for your flower yeah. all right once we have that um, we can select all the shapes copy go to the next frame and then paste and then deselect by just clicking outside and then click on that on the petal copy it and paste it and then again uh, Start rotating it and position it where where you need it.
Once you're satisfied with the position, again, you select all objects, copy, go to the next frame, paste, we copy the next petal, and then we paste, and we do the same thing. We start rotating, and then position the petal where it needs to be. Once you're satisfied with the position, we'll do the same thing. We select all objects. I'm going to copy. Go to the next frame first. Don't forget to always go to the next frame first. And then paste. Then deselect. Click on the next pedal. Hit copy. And then paste. And rotate. Once you're satisfied with the position of the pedal, then you select all again, copy, go to the next frame, paste, then deselect, select the next pedal, copy, paste, then rotate. Rotate and position it where it needs to be. Once you're satisfied, select all again, copy, go to the next frame, paste, select the pedal, copy, paste it. Again, position it where it needs to be, rotate it. Once you're satisfied, again, select everything, copy, go to the next frame, paste, copy the pedal, paste it, drag it, rotate it, and position it where it needs to be. Once you're satisfied, select all again, copy, next frame, paste, select the pedal, copy, Paste, position the pedal where it needs to be, rotate it. And I'll do one more, so select everything, copy, go to the next frame, paste, copy the pedal, paste it, and position, make sure you rotate and position where it needs to be. And there it is, there's our flower. Now, now let's hit play to see how it looks. There you go. Gonna hit pause. I'm going to go into the settings button. So right here, settings, the little gear. And then I'm going to name it growing flower. If you're satisfied with the speed, then you leave it as it is uh, 12. If you want to slow it down or all that, I mean, you can just change it. Let's say if I go um, six and hit apply and then hit play, see how it's slowing it down. So it's up to you. If you don't like how it looks at 12, let me hit apply, play again and see how it's going a little bit faster. So it's up to you. You can um, leave it at 12 or go down a little bit. Okay, so once you're done, you're going to export and then you're going to export as GIF. So once you're here, all you do is click export GIF and it's going to ask you, okay, where do you want to save it? Um, and then just pick a folder where you want to save it, maybe downloads or the desktop. Uh, whatever works best for you. So I'll just put it in downloads in my case and then uh, the file name that's fine. I'll just click save and see how it says finish creating. So you can just click on the X and um, if you go to if you go to your downloads folder or wherever you saved it, um, it should be there, which is here. I just double click and there it is. So this file from your downloads folder or from wherever you you saved it, you're going to um, upload it into Google Classroom. All right, so that's how you create a growing flower animation.